I'm here to talk to you today about uh, E3 Metals. So, the company I founded in 2016, we took public in 2017. I love to start with this picture, and I'll probably stay here for a bit because it really outlines to me um, what this project is all about. So this is South Central Alberta. This is about 30 minutes north of Calgary. The project that we have is the Leduc Aquifer, historic aquifer discovered by Exxon Imperial in 1947. Um, we've produced all the oil out of it in Alberta, but what has always been there is lithium and rich brine. So the company is simply repurposing a historic asset into a lithium producer. Um, quite a bit of irony there, but one of the benefits that we have in Alberta is 70 years of production history. We know how to move fluids in and out of this aquifer. Um, they still produce a little bit of oil in places out of this, so they are currently bringing this lithium brine to surface today. So a huge opportunity to pivot Alberta uh, and our skill, for, our, uh, skill set, our workforce, uh, service industry to something that is now um, uh, and soon to be a lithium industry. So similar sort of forward-living statements. Um, E3 Metals really sits on two main pillars. We have our proprietary uh, extraction technology that has been developed in-house. We started working on this in 2016. We've now perfected it. We're about to pilot it, hopefully, uh, early next year. For us, that's really commercial prove-out because all of the things we need to do to uh, get it commercial, we have to do to get it to pilot. So it uh, has a huge advantage for us to take it all the way after we pilot. We also have a very substantial resource. So 7 million tons, that's lithium carbon equivalent. That's not uh, hard rock tons. So the, the two combined bring together E3 having a very strong position to move the company forward uh, and be a dominant player and actually bring Alberta and Western Canada into the forefront of the lithium industry. We've got 30 million tons of lithium in Alberta. There's more in Saskatchewan. It all needs technology to extract it. E3 Metals has developed that technology. So one of the other big advantages is that we take it all the way to battery grade. There's not a single project in the world today that makes battery grade products at the back of the plant. It's all go, it all goes through secondary processing. So we will make the refined lithium hydroxide that is going into the batteries in Alberta uh, at the back of our facility. So we've got lots of cash. We've got about $16 million in the bank. Um, we have no plans to finance right now. We're looking at grant funding, which the um, federal government just announced $3.8 billion in federal funds. We're looking at some of those look like they're written specifically for us, one that came out last week. So very excited about the opportunity to continually fund the company without any dilution and, and uh, as we grow towards commercial operations. So one of the big things that's uh, changed over the past year and a half uh, is the team. So we've been expanding the team um, when, uh, for the, for, from about 2017 to 2020, we were five people. One of them's in the room here, one of the OGs. Um, now we're 24 people at the company. Uh, we have a, a technical development facility in Calgary. We have our head office in Calgary. We're drilling the first lithium wells uh, in Alberta in June. And uh, we plan to be piloting hopefully by the end of this year, early next. So huge movements, uh, all, all because of the team. So great group of people working here. Um, the lithium industry, uh, and I'm only gonna touch on this briefly, two main pillars, I talked about it at another panel today. The, uh, the lithium battery has become, it solidified itself as the battery for electrification. And every OEM in the world has committed to electrifying its fleet, at least in whole, or at least in part, if not in whole. So the two combined uh, have, a, have a built lithium, the lithium industry in a very robust demand uh, because there is not enough uh, supply. The, the reality is that every new bit of lithium needed for the electrification needs to be brought on from new, which is not like any of the other minerals. So it means that we have to develop projects like E3s and the capital for those projects is flooding in. You're seeing OEMs, which have never invested in raw materials now investing in uh, in those companies to develop them. So huge movements for uh, the lithium industry as well. We developed a PEA, uh, we put out $1.1 billion NPV. This is at $14,000 per ton. We're now trading $70,000 per ton to give you an idea where this will go. So um, a, a very robust project in Alberta, one of the lowest operating costs in the industry at $3,600 per ton. So very strong economics. This is what it looks like. This is where we start to look back like oil and gas. So we have a series of wells. We bring it to a central facility. We use our technology to extract lithium from the brines that we bring up. We put the brines right back down in a closed loop system. We then take the lithium off of our, uh, our material into lithium sulfate, and we produce that into lithium hydroxide. And that lithium sulfate to lithium hydroxide is a very common 
uh, conventional uh, lithium processing flow sheet. So we're just going to borrow from the norm um, to get that done. So for us, really, we have one piece of tech that we've had to develop, but we're, we're backing on a very mature oil and gas industry and a very mature lithium industry on either side. Uh, this is what the technology looks like. If you want any information about this, you can come see at our booth or 701. Um, we can talk to you about what, how this works and what it does, um, but it, it's low energy, uh, it produces a high grade lithium concentrate, uh, and has a high impurity removal. And why that's really important is because if you're going to make battery grade products, it needs to be 99.5% pure or better. So the more um, el critical elements you can re remove, uh, impurities you can remove from the, the brine prior to processing uh, reduces your cost, and that's why we're $3,600 per ton, because our technology does a lot of the purification up front in one step. This is our resource base. We span from Calgary to Edmonton, so in the heartland of Alberta's uh, uh, farming belt. Uh, all of this is subsurface development, so we only use about 3% of the land. Um, and that's really important when you look at it from an ESG perspective. This is going into green uh, vehicles. Um, the automobiles, especially in Europe, are taxed based on their carbon footprint. Um, ESG is the second question they ask about your product. First is quality, second is what is your ESG. Um, very strong in Alberta. The way that we produce this is like conventional oil, very small footprint, um, very strong, no fresh water usage, very, um, no open pits, no evaporation ponds. Um, we look to do carbon, be carbon neutral by deploying CCS technology. So um, advancing that as well as the project. Looking at the landscape of how lithium is conventionally produced, so you've got hard rock mines, you have evaporation ponds. DLE technology is the up and coming. It's where, in my mind, in the next 10 years, the majority of the new supply required is going to come from DLE or direct lithium extraction projects such as ours. The technologies that are being advanced now are going into commercial operations in the next couple of years. So a lot of the de-risking has happened now in this uh, direct extraction technology. Being in Alberta uh, has a huge advantage as well because, as I mentioned, this is a 30 million ton jurisdiction. So it's the largest in the world for lithium here in Alberta. Um, and Western Canada, including Saskatchewan, Manitoba, also have brine resources. We have a huge opportunity to participate in the lithium industry in Western Canada based on these resources. They unlock the value by the technology that E3 has developed. So we have the opportunity to deploy the technology to other companies looking for tech um, to enable them and also for, uh, to produce lithium and also for us to be able to collect a royalty. When you look at it from the permitting so standpoint, um, it, it's generally about three years to get a permit for a mine. Our permits will take about a year. Um, a well license, just to give you an idea, which is your, uh, your mine license, your ability to produce your product, is six to eight weeks once you have all your paperwork filed in Alberta. So it's just unheard of the permitting timeframes. Um, the Alberta government recently announced Bill 82, bringing critical minerals under the oil and gas regulator in Alberta, which is a huge piece of work that E3 was uh, pioneering early in, the, early in uh, 2018 now in law, so now the Alberta Energy Regulator is who regulates oil and gas. Oil and gas is a very streamlined, very efficient permitting regime that's now being, um, oil and gas, or that lithium's now falling under. Um, we're about to license our first, the first lithium wells ever drilled in Alberta through that new system. So very exciting uh, movement by the Alberta governments showing their support for the project along with $2 million worth of grant funding that we've acquired. So lots of support locally as well. Um, a big year last year, um, next year I think is going to be even, or this year sorry, is going to be even bigger. Um, we've got a huge amount of major milestones that we're about to accomplish. If you look at uh, peer comparisons to E3, the, where they start to make big moves, and our peers are Lake Resources, Standard Lithium, they're, they're both over a billion dollar market cap, we're about 150 million, 140 million today. The big moves where they've gone up to those type of valuations have been on things like piloting their technology finding corporate partnerships, uh, ex um, e extending their resource base, um, de-risking it through M&I, and then producing products like lithium hydroxide, and all of that leading to pre-feasibility study. That's where they have uh, achieved their major valuation moves, and we're on the cusp of doing all of those things right now. So 2022 is gonna be huge for that. We're gonna get a, huge, uh, a lot of the technical milestones done this year, and then next year, going to finish the pre-feasibility study outlining the value of this project at that level, booking Western Canada's first brine reserve. So 
so big moves. Um, Ether has been, and we're fully funded for all of it. So um, a lot of benefit there. Um, stock chart and final slide. Thank you very much.